breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOB promises to showcase achievement on Biafra struggle soon. IPOB promises to showcase achievement on Biafra struggle soon. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. The group assured that its struggle this year would record more sources. The indigenous people of Biafra has promised to showcase the achievement it has so far recorded in its fight for secession. The group in a statement by Ima Powerful, its media and publicity secretary, vows to continue the struggle unless its leader, Onamdi Kanu, is released unconditionally. The group assured that its struggle this year would record more sources. The statement reads, The leadership of IPOV had given the order for all IPOB members across the world to activate the protest to show our anger towards the illegal abduction and extraordinary rendition of our leader, MNK, from Kenya to Nigeria. To this end, we want to inform all Biafrans to get ready to solidarize with our leader as usual in his next court appearance scheduled for January 18, 19, and 20. It is on record that the Kenya government has openly confessed that kidnapping and extra rendition of our leader were unlawful and we must leverage on that confession and protect and protest his, uh, his abduction and rendition by the Nigerian government in collaboration with our allies. Fulani cows are banned in Biafra land starting from April 22, 2022. Those in the animal husbandry business must switch over to our native cow without delay. On stopping schools from singing the national anthem in Southeast, the group said every school in the region would soon receive copies of the Biafra national anthem. Again, Concerning stopping the Nigerian national anthem in our schools, we want every school to start reading Biafra national anthem. Soon, every school is going to receive a copy of the Biafra national anthem. We want to declare that the Nigerian government and its security agencies will have no peace of mind unless they release our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, unconditionally, because our God will torment them. Kanu is on a divine project and nobody will hold him and have peace of mind. The group commended friends of Biafra and lovers of Biafra freedom for supporting the Biafra struggle. The indigenous people of Biafra has promised to showcase the achievement it has so far recorded in its fight for secession. The group, in a statement by Ima Powerful, its media and publicity secretary vows to continue the struggle unless its leader, 
Onam de Kano is released unconditionally. The group assured that it struggled. This year would record more success. The statement reads, The leadership of IPOB had given the order for all IPOB members across the world to activate the protest to show our anger towards the illegal abduction and extraordinary rendition of our leader, MNK from Kenya to Nigeria. To this end, we want to inform all Biafrans to get ready to solidarize with our leader as usual in his next court appearance scheduled for January 18th, 19th and 20. It is on record that the Kenya government has openly confessed that kidnapping and extra rendition of our leader were unlawful and we must leverage on that confession and protest his abduction and rendition by the Nigerian government in collaboration with our allies. Fulani cows are banned in Biafra land starting from April 2022. Those in the animal's boundary business must switch over to our native cow without delay. On stopping schools from singing the national anthem in Southeast, the group said every school in the region would soon receive copies 